and welcome to Chapter 9, Section 4, The Area of Trapezoids and Triangles. Now, um, we're going to start with triangles, and we're looking for the area. Remember, a triangle is any three-sided polygon. Now, the definition of a polygon means it's a closed figure. It doesn't have open sides. All three of the sides touch, and that the sides are straight. There's no curves to them. Now, when you're finding the area of a triangle, it's, the formula is base time, one half base times height, or it's base times height divided by two. These are the same thing. Multiplying something by half and dividing it by two are doing the same thing to it. So, and then the question is, why is it base times height time? I mean, isn't a square or a rectangle base times height? Well. I need you to understand that a triangle is exactly half of a rectangle. Let me show you. So let's take this triangle, for example, and I've got this triangle that I'm going to put these two halves on. So this is the size of this triangle. If you cut it along that vertical height and then you repeat it and you put this piece here, along this edge, and if I could draw a straight line, it would probably help, and this line here, along this edge, you will see that this makes a rectangle with a height of six and a base of five. So the, the area of this rectangle is six times five, which is 30 meters squared. But remember that it took two triangles to get there which means that only one of the triangles then would be half of the area because it takes two. So when you're fine, and it works with any triangle, it doesn't matter what, what, how squished it is or how long it is or whatever. If you can find the base and the height, you always multiply them together and then divide by two to find your area. So let's try it for these two. Sometimes, you're going to see triangles that look like this. Then these are called right triangles because one of their corners is a right angle. Now what I need you to understand is if I turn this sideways, then my height is 9 inches and my base is 7 inches because these are perpendicular to each other. And you need a line perpendicular to the base to be able to tell the height. That's what a 90 degree angle is. So um, with right triangles, they don't give you the dotted line because they give you one of the legs. The, the two lines that make the 90 degree angle, those are called legs, as opposed to the hypotenuse, which we will get to later, I promise. But, um, so figure out for this one, which is 9 by 7, and then this one, oh, this one. Sometimes you're going to see triangles that have not only the base and the height, but also both the slant heights because they also want you to find perimeter. So if you're looking at a triangle with all of these numbers, don't freak out. I need you to find the height and I need you to find the line that is perpendicular to the height and you know that you're going to use these two lines. These two touch the height at a point and they're not going to work for you. So I need you to use the 6 and the 11 when you're figuring these. So I want you to push pause and work these two problems out and come back when you're done. Okay? All right. So I'm going to do 9 times 7, which is 63. And then I'm going to divide 63 by 2. 1, 2. So it's going to be 0.5. So this is 31.5 or 31 and a half inches squared. Remember, it's area, so it's squared. This one, if I were to find the area, I would do 6 times 11, which is 66, divided by 2, which is 33 feet squared. And if I were to find the perimeter, it would be 11 plus 9 plus 7, which is 27 feet. And remember, this is a linear distance, so it makes a line, so it's just feet, it's not feet squared. How'd you do? 
Are you comfortable with this? Remember, for area, you want to use the lines that are perpendicular to the base and the height. You want to make sure you've got perpendicular lines here so that you're grabbing the right two numbers. For the most part, all they're going to give you is the two numbers, but in case they're getting tricky, and when I test you, you have to know the difference. So, then we're on to trapezoids. Now, this kind of looks scary. Don't freak out. This actually says base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. Or base 1 times base plus plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. What we want to do is we find the average of these two bases. So let me introduce you to the trapezoid. The trapezoid is a four-sided figure and only two sides are parallel. Only two sides. The other two sides are not parallel. And so your job is to find the average of the two parallel sides. So here, we have happy little things. If I find the average of this side and this side, what that's do is that's going to give me the side, a length that's right in the middle of these two. Now check this out. If I were to cut off this part of the triangle, if I were to cut this part off here and then take it and attach it here, oh, I didn't draw that very well, and then I were to cut this part off here and then attach it up to here, I would have a rectangle and I almost drew that well, I would have a rectangle that had the height of the trapezoid and the length of the average of these two sides, this length here. So in order for us to find how wide it sh that rectangle should be, we have to find the average of the, the, the top and the bottom. If your parallel sides are top and bottom, you're going to find those two sides. So we're going to add with 8 plus 12. Well, 8 plus 12 is 20, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 10 by 5, and that's 50 inches squared. I need to find the average, which is add them up and then divide by however many there are. Add them up and divide by 2. So this looks big and ugly, but it's add them up and divide by 2. This is the average. And then you multiply it by the height. That's it. So let's give you a chance. All right? I've got you two here for you to try. This one is set up pretty regularly. I've got my 90 degree angle as one of my sides. Kind of cool. So it saves you a trip. So make sure that you know this is the height for your two parallel bases. This one I've actually turned sideways. So here's my height, even though it's long ways. And these are my two parallel bases. So don't let the sidewaysness fully fool you. So, Pause, give these a try, come back when you're done. All right, so here I'm going to find the average of my two bases. Five times, whoops, plus, sorry, five plus seven is 12, divided by two is six, times my height is four. Six times four is 24 meters squared. Then this one, that is my phone, please ignore it. This one, my two parallel sides here, I'm going to add together to find the average. I've got 10 plus 12, that's 22, divided by 2. So I've got 11 times my height, 8, which is 88 inches squared. 88 inches squared. So that is how you find the average. You're not, probably not going to be asked to find the perimeter of a trapezoid just because they think you're freaked out about it and it's no problem. Okay? So, here you go. Your practice. You're going to find the area and the perimeter of these two triangles.
and then the area of this trapezoid. And if you are having trouble reading it, this is 17 by 17 and 17 with a height of 15. This is 6 and 7 with a diagonal of 9. These parallel sides are 20 and 26 with a height of 9. Okay? Work those out. Put hazard signs next to things you don't understand. Try the trapezoid. Don't let it scare you. It's not that bad. Just find the average and then multiply it by the time by, by the height. And I will talk to you tomorrow. So good luck and take care.